Hail and well met, fellow Amnestre. Welcome to Season 1, Episode 11 of the Amnestre Vlog. In Episode 10, I talked about my Legion Class Mounts project. In this episode, I want to talk about another mini-project I've never completed, even after all these years, almost 20 years of playing WoW. This time, I want to look at the Ambassador title. There's no power gain here, it's strictly a vanity project, so if you have no interest in collecting titles or increasing reputation with Legacy Faction, please watch a different video. Life is short. So in this video, we will look at the achievement itself. Then, since the picture is worth a thousand words, I'll show you where to buy the tabards required for increasing your reputation with the relevant factions. Then finally, I'll give a demo of the dungeons you can use to level up your rep. A major caveat, as the title says, this is Alliance-centric. If you are on the Horde side, there is a comparable achievement, but the Tabard vendors are obviously in different locations. So the first half of this video will not help you, but the second half, how to increase your rep, applies to both factions. Skip to this timestamp if that's all you care about. I can also confirm that if you obtain the Ambassador title on the Alliance side, it is available immediately on the Horde side. Another note, until recently, you needed to be exalted with your own faction in order to acquire your racial heritage armor. Fortunately, that requirement has been removed. Okay, so here's the achievement, Ambassador of the Alliance. You can see that all you need to complete it is to gain exalted status with the six major factions of the Alliance. Darnassus, Exodar, Gilneas, Nomragon Exiles, Ironforge, and Stormwind. You can gain a certain amount of this while questing, but with how fast questing goes post level squish, it's unlikely you've gotten very far if you've leveled your character recently. Since Northurian is a geezer in WoW terms, he's already accumulated quite a bit of rep for these factions. But he's still only revered with Exodar, Nomragon, and Ironforge. Still thousands of rep to go. So how do I get him across the finish line? The answer is by running dungeons with a tabard equipped that allows you to gain reputation for every mob you kill. At max level, it's trivial to do this except for the amount of time it takes. So it's all about the tabards. Let's take a quick look at them. Darnassus. Exodar. Gilneas. Nomragon Exiles. Ironforge. And Stormwind. Important note, the green quality rep giving Stormwind Tabard should not be confused with the blue quality Stormwind Tabard you get from the Dwarven Bunker in your Draenor Garrison. Yes, they have exactly the same name. The Draenor Tabard is a higher res and nicer looking Stormwind Tabard, but it will not gain you rep for kills in dungeons. Next. Where do I buy the tabards? Let's start at Stormwind. The Stormwind Quartermaster, Captain Lancey Revshawn, is located near the Griffin here. Caveat. I've read that sometimes she's phased and you have to look for her in Stormwind Harbor. Darnassus and Gilneas. Now you can kill two birds with one stone. The Darnassus and Gilneas Quartermasters Moon Priestess Lassara and Lord Candron stand near the embassy in Stormwind as shown here. How may I help? As a bonus, I'll also show you where these two are located in Darnassus. That is, before the BFA pre-patch. No spoilers. Just make sure you talk to Zadormi in Darkshore if you are in the current day phase. Moon Priestess Lassara and Lord Candron are located by the Griffin in Darnassus, here. I have what you seek. My goods are of the highest quality. Since we're close to Exodar, let's hop over there. The Exodar Quartermaster, Kadu, is located here once again next to the Griffin. See a pattern emerging? Find what you seek. 
And finally, again killing two birds with one stone, the Iron Forge and Nomragon Exiles Quartermasters, Captain Stonehelm and Master Tinker Trini, are located conveniently here next to the Griffin in Iron Forge. Now there is an alternative place to purchase the tabards, I almost hesitate to mention it, and that is the Argent Tournament and Ice Crown. But unless you've opened up and leveled up your Argent Tournament rep, uh, it's a bit of a fool's errand. As you can see here, I can only access the Quartermaster of my own race. This will be of limited usefulness. So now we have our tabards. We're ready to gain rep for kills in dungeons, but which dungeons? The online consensus is Outland Dungeons, more particularly one of the Tempest Keep dungeons in Netherstorm. I always thought the conventional wisdom favored the Mechanar, but now I've been reading on Wowhead that Botanica is better, so we'll try both. One more important thing. As always, you can benefit from rep buffs like the human racial buff that adds 10% to all rep gains, or the Dark Moon Fair buff. All other things being equal, it's best to do this on a human character. But that said, I'm doing these runs buffless, and the grind still goes pretty fast. Here's how to get to the Mechanar. I'm starting out in Southeast Netherstorm, facing Tempest Keep. Head to the right. Botanica is to the left. Here's an example of how much rep you'll rack up for a typical mass pull. Bosses net you 300 rep each. Here's an example of my Mechanar pull pattern on double speed. Make sure you have dungeons set to normal. When you complete the dungeon, exit and reset. You can do any normal dungeon 10 times every hour, so you may have some downtime if you exceed the 10 per hour limit. There really is no advantage to doing these dungeons on Heroic, because as far as I was able to tell, there's no additional rep for doing it on Heroic. Three caveats for the Mechanar. One, there are several mobs that have a very short aggro tether, limiting your ability to do mass pulls. You can't go far before they reset, in other words. I don't find it worth it to retrace my steps to kill them, so it's a loss of rep efficiency. Two, there are some mobs in the first area that can stun you if you let them catch up to you or if you are unlucky. Three, this area here slows you down because these mobs spawn in waves. You have to kill each wave before the next appears. So that's three strikes against the Mechanar. In its favor, Mechanar is short. I'm not the fastest puller. You can go faster if you forego looting. And I managed it in as little as four minutes, 44 seconds. But it's only 2,600-ish rep per run. Here are numbers for several of my Mechanar runs. Chances are you will max out your rep for one of the factions in the middle of a run like this. Just swap tabards and continue. Let's take a look at Botanica. Here's an example of my Botanica pull pattern on double speed. Don't forget to equip the tabard of the rep you're trying to grind.
Another thing that the Botanica has going for it is that it has five bosses instead of three, so presumably that's an extra 600 rep. I found that occasionally you can miss a mob, but there are no mob reset issues like Mechanar. All the mobs have a long aggro tether. There's this little area here where you have to be mindful of stealthers. They're easy to pick up if you want the rep. All in all, I'm sold on Botanica for this kind of rep grind. It has none of the problems Mechanar has and gives you more rep per minute. It does take longer than Mechanar on average, but gives you more rep. 3,535 was a number I achieved several times. Again, without any kind of rep gain buff. And my fastest time was 5 minutes 1 second. Here are my overall unscientific numbers. So here's the moment I gained the achievement. And here's the title itself. And finally, proof that the achievement is cross-faction. Get it on the Alliance, and you get it on Horde, and vice versa, presumably. So there you have it. The Ambassador of the Alliance Achievement and the Ambassador Title. True confession, this whole process is a little bit like, I spent my day in Tempest Keep and all I got was this lousy title. But whatevs, welcome to the wonderful world of Warcraft. Peace out.